All right, folks, the deck is Mill Priest. The goal of the deck is to get a bunch of Death Lords and Dancing Swords into our Death Rattle Ruzzpool, bring them back with Twilight's Call, Amulet of Undying, and Rally, as well as Nazat the Corruptor at the top end. We've also got Hakar the Soul Flayer to shuffle in some Corrupted Bloods and accelerate the fatigue damage a little bit, which all of those get replayed with Zyrella the Devout to hopefully burst down the opponent and uh, make them die in fatigue. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Ruffle. I can't imagine this doesn't farm Pirate Warriors. I might just concede to the Pirate Warriors, if we're being honest here. Because that doesn't sound like something I want to deal with today with this deck. Like, I need to find the... Um, Uh -oh. <laughs> I need to find the free shamans. The light shall bring victory. Flash into Death Lord seems okay. Convincing Infiltrator is another taunt. Hey, welcome, King Ogre. Oh my god, that core mode is incredible. <laughs> Oh, for a second I thought the eyes were going were like fish eyes going in the wrong directions, but and it was funnier to me, but it's still pretty funny. I must okay, well, I mean, if I'm ever gonna have a hand that beats Pyro Warrior, I guess it's this one. But also, I may just move on if the opponent keeps playing at this pace, because this is painful. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to move on. This is, like, outrageous. It doesn't take a minute and a half to figure out two turns of Pirate for you. Hey, Gramcore. I want a Corbett Mutanus cosplay. I think that's what we all want. And really, when you think about it, that's what we all deserve. Gigantic Donuts. Welcome to the stream. Thank you uh, for the uh, the Patreon, by the way. I recorded your uh, YouTube shoutouts yesterday? The day before? The day before, I think. And it will be up... Uh, should be next week. All right, um, Ignite Mage is not a game that we can win. Happy feasting, so, Happy feasting, maybe it's Reno Mage, Seeker Mage, hopefully. Opium. Hero Power Mage. There are other mages beyond Ignite, I think. Yeah, spook. I'm loving the Hakar. Yeah, I'm not confident that I'll ever get to play the Hakar in a real game of Hearthstone, but fortunately, this doesn't actually appear to be a real game of Hearthstone either. Yeah, let's uh, get out of this one. Because that's a zero percenter from my end. The only way I could possibly win that is if the opponent botches the combo, which is not a fun game of Archstone to play. Came from watching Mark play this deck? Well, I guess it's good that I stopped reading YouTube comments as much then, because... Inevitably, I'll get blasted for copying him, even though I had no idea he posted it. Or even that he has yet. Well, 
fight shall bring victory. Okay. This is a good card. Hysteria deals with pirates sometimes. Hey, welcome, Scarlet. Okay. No brigand, at least. And at least they're playing at a reasonable pace. Car would be a great counter to ignite if it didn't cost 10. Yeah. A car in general would be a much better card if it didn't cost 10. Unfortunately, I think my rank is a little too high to not queue into a bunch of Pirate Warriors. Tasselis, thank you for the 28 months. Happy Thursday. Turn 28 in four days. Don't know what to do for my birthday. Any ideas? Um, I mean, it's going to sound boring, but right now, like, the safe thing to do is, like, a virtual hangout. Um, But generally, what I do for my birthday is meet up with uh, close friends. We rent a cabin and bring a lot of booze and uh, play a lot of board games. And it's wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this one because it's already over. I've played now four games of Hearthstone, and it looks like I've played against two different decks. Welcome, Doctor. Hey, they haven't traded anything yet got to be a good sign. Oh, no check. You have best. It was not a good sign. I had a good hand that game too. You're welcome, Glitchy. Gigantic Donuts, thank you for the sub. Look at that, I beat the alert. Uh, fortunately, we're dropping rank, so I'm getting closer to a point where I don't just queue into nothing but Pirate Warriors and Ignite Mages, so... Making progress. <laughs> of course. Victory for the Forsaken. The light shall bring victory. Is a is another pretty much impossible matchup unless I just like race down the uh, Amara somehow, and the opponent has a slow start. None will yeah. Survive. GG. I just. You have best. 
They've taken enough of my time already. All right, almost to uh, rank five. That's where you find the slowest opponents on ladder. I know it's like your mulligan in turn one as odd hunter and pirate warrior is not difficult. Hey, get good to go. Maybe it's a mill mirror. I make my own choice. The light shall bring victory. Alright, best turn to play in my deck. What even is rogue? Oh god, is it gonna be pillager? Please no. Happy feast of Wintervale. Happy feast of Wintervale. Really struggled to find the right card there. Hey, Naya. Welcome to the stream. King's Bone. Also, just be like the aggro deck, but I think Kingsbane is more common. Yeah. Um, gonna be a little bit problematic. Two of those cards are just cards in my deck. Please don't set and die. Down. Hey, AC. Am I dead? Wow. It looks like it, doesn't it? Your wits or your brains? Congratulations. <laughs> you won a 75 percenter. All right. Hey, I actually got progress for my quest that time. <laughs> oh, my God. I've been conceding so much, I haven't actually... Uh... Considered, um, or been considered playing a game. I would like to queue against something that I like have some semblance of a chance against, though. Druid, maybe. Okay. This could be it. I must protect the Fire Lord. The light shall bring victory. Do I ever keep this and just trade it on in the early game? Sure. Hey, Jamies. Cthoon? Okay. Okay, I can burn a Cthoon piece. Or just... I don't know. It, all I care about is I actually get to play this game. Like, I'm. there's a very good chance I lose here. Because the opponent's deck is... Um, is a good deck. But... At least I get to play. Yeah. 
and fill their blood their deck with blood so they can't discover Cthulhu. Yeah, like, see, I get I get mana. They're giving me mana. They're, this is this is exactly what I'm looking for. That's from uh, Nature Studies. I do, however, need to, like, actually get my death rattle minions. Odd attack minions, this deals with a spreading plague. Or I could just copy a death rattle minion. The light shall burn. This deck kind of struggles when it doesn't draw um, Dead Ringer early. Oh my god, I've drawn nothing but spells. Well, and spirits, I guess. But the spirits get worse when you don't have uh, minions to play them on. I appreciate that. Fortunately, they run a lot of reactive cards as well, but like they also run a lot more card draw. Wait, how many of those do they have? Oh, they got one of those off of the Moonlit. That's what happened. Hey, Ben. Okay. One Cthulhu piece down. Six. Look at that. Them beefy pit fighter boys. Talk about good stats for the cost. Why spirits? Is there any fatigue issue? Well, there's a blood issue. Oh, thank you. That's so kind of you. And the more like mill death rattle cards that I wait, I could just death lord their Cthulhu out potentially. Because they've already used one um, one Moonlight Guidance, so if they're not careful... We burn one card here. Oh, I kind of would have liked them to have that. <laughs> it's a weird build of the deck. Have you ever tried a Call to Arms deck where you make five mana minions cost into two costs? Yeah. Uh, got at least one video on that in, over on YouTube. It's like one of the first things I did when I got my hands on Vandar. Everyone yelled at me because they still think that Fel Reaver is a bad card to this day. They don't have any minions in their deck, do they? Well, they'll have a Cthulhu. Wonder what cards they cut for Bloom and Shells. It looks like the Oak and Summons package, which is like... I don't want to say it's the best card in the deck, but yeah, it's, it's the best cards in the deck. It's a substantial portion of why you play this deck, is the Open Summons package. This is not what we stood for. This gets me a car, otherwise I would have just jammed the Nazoth here.
get double best in shell. <laughs> that is a very familiar experience for me. I feel like that was kind of unlucky. This gives me a pretty good buffer for damage as well. Because Cthune can hit the uh, the board. Cthune? Nice. Actually, getting the taunt there is pretty important. They don't even have the Cthune yet. Care about that, friend? Oh, one of these was created by nature studies. That's why they <laughs> seem to have so many. Wait, they didn't draw a single blood. You are safe now. The death lord, unlucky. Look at this. Are they just gonna try and like nope? I'm almost out of cards. <laughs> oh man. Do they not run a gu oh there's Guff. Wow, Guff was so far low and deep. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think this is going the way the opponent wanted. Like, they only have one Cthune as well, and these are... because... Oh, I could get another Amara in my deck as well. Hey, congrats, Pope. Oh no, they drew! <laughs> uh, I don't know what they were expecting to happen here, but... Uh... Seems good. 
Oh, it just keeps going. Their deck is 21 bloods. Maybe they don't know how bloods work? I mean, it's pretty likely considering Hakar is generally an unplayable card. The Kali, I give you the two months. Would Hakar beat Linecracker Druid? Ah. Uh, this deck might beat Linecracker Druid, yeah. Oh, well, why do you call the enemies they? Uh, because that is the proper uh, gender-neutral pronoun for someone whose gender you don't know. Uh, can be confusing for non-native speakers, but like it's pretty intuitive for native speakers. The King Ogre, I give you the gifted sub. To Hakar at that. Oh god. The, the Twitter role-playing is moving over to Twitch now, isn't it? You can only have up to 60 bloods in your deck, though? Yeah, but then, like, fatigue compounds um, w the damage with the... Uh, so, in addition to fatigue, you're also doing blood. So, we could easily beat... Uh, um, Blind Cracker Druid, even if they're running Mechathun. Found another one of those roping pirate warriors too. Should we just move on? I think so. Oh, it might actually just be a, a bot. Too bad this would have been a really easy win. Yeah, it's a bot. You can tell by the mouse movement over the cards. You have best. Not every language has a general neutral terms that can be confusing to non-native speakers. Yeah, it's, uh, like, again, it's, it, it, English is a weird language and, like, admittedly it is confusing for non-native speakers. Now, some people do use that fact to, like, bait out a nonsensical discussion, but I think that I've learned that more often than not people are coming from a place of good faith with that. Oof. Well, at least we can corrupt our insight, right? I think the dream is that we set this the turn going into the Nazoth, but I don't know. Is Free Shaman an okay matchup? I think it's an okayer matchup than uh, some of the other popular decks. Like, as long as I can set up a taunt into their uh, big stuff, I think it'll be okay. Do I just tempo this out now? I wouldn't mind getting more of those, I don't think. I'm 
going to be able to corrupt that next turn, so I might as well just wait. No monkey with a car for ultimate value. The last thing this deck needs is uh, more cards that don't have, like, immediate impact. It's already hard enough to win games with this deck. Bills Goodman. Thank you for the 100 bits. Love the latest vid. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Thank you for that support. Nature waits for no one but me. I need to be careful about completing my quest so that I don't uh, get dirty ratted, but the Death Lord is actually very good in this matchup, isn't it? The Vorkins. Thank you for the Prime. I probably just need to play the Amara as soon as I'm able. I don't need to worry about eking out Valium. I feel like this is a good enough hysteria. Even if it means we could die. <laughs> oh, second snowfall is good. I can't do that. Sure. Nature waits for no one okay. but me. Death does not me. Uh, we are going to get. Hit with a Flurgle Tox here. Are you planning to get rid of the Hakar's blood in this deck? No. No, the opponent's always going to draw more bloods than me. Um. So. Wait, they're not using the Flurgle Tox here? That kind of seemed like a no-brainer, didn't it? Maybe they're saving it for some sort of lethal push, or the Nazoth that I do, in fact, have in hand. This also makes sense. I guess. But they could have gotten a Flurgle Tox in there as well, and then still frozen the board. I don't know. Now they're probably hitting me with the Florgal Tox, which unfortunately means I probably don't get shuffles going, do I? Hakar? Oh. 
That was a rough 50-50. Oh! Okay. <laughs> oh, that works. Seems like a waste of those birds, though. I mean, obviously, like, hindsight being 2020 and all that, but... Wait. They're also not killing these. This is very bad for them. What? Perfect. That seemed like a very bad idea for the opponent. Wait, do I give the Zyrella hero power back if I swap it right now? Like, I give it to the opponent, right? That seems like it would be bad. But maybe I have to do it anyway. Just to like burn out the rest of the yeah, it's a lot of burst. Wait, they're drawing those off of the uh primal. This has gone horribly wrong for the opponent. A nature spell it seems uh it's a shadow they've just drawn they've drawn two spells right like i'm always going to end up giving them this right oh no bolner for you Oh, right. That's why they didn't play the Frogo Talks, because they didn't have it. Because they're running the Finley Wizard combo, at least. I mean, yeah, keep going. I think this may just be effective lethal, right? I've got, I think, three or four uh, dancing swords in there. And they've got nothing but, like, they're just taking so much damage from these cars. So, I think I just jam this and it's as close to GG as possible. Now, if their hand is full at the end of their turn. Oh, that's true. They just mess up their birds. Uh, they should have a shutter in hand, right? 
If not, they've done a lot of like really big oofs this game. Like even just playing out cards here is kind of a big oof, right? They should just like burn the remainder of their uh, bloods. They don't have a grumble in hand. Yeah, I think the opponent punted here. <laughs> That's funny. Should be lethal, right? Because the draw for turn as well. Oh, nice snipe. Got a yellow end turn button, so it might just be game over anyway. This might take a while. Yeah, the Amara animation is always really long. And then on top of that, like, the blood animation is really long. And I'm pretty sure Amara keeps going even after they die. So. Yeah, just enjoy the beautiful lights, chat. Oh, good, good. Yeah, that's what they needed is more, more bloods. What a beautiful game that was. All right, I'm going to grab some water while I queue up. I'll be right back. Guide me to victory. The light shall bring victory. Oh, hey, another druid. You're welcome, Khan. Oh, my God, the sand is the dream. Please be another slow druid. Oh. Okay. We can do this, chat. Okay. Uh, if we get a Death Lord in the Xyrella pool, we can pull a Cthulhu out potentially as well. Oof. I'm gonna guess they don't have the Oaken Summons. But if they do... I'm 
That's a good draw. Dragons. Kind of want this. Just to be able to start killing stuff off. <clears throat> uh, I think the extension reads your which native language, so if you change that to English, I think it would change the extension language to English. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. This is not what we stood for. Guess I can just like spirit lash the uh, the two one. ZBT, thank you for the nine months. I always enjoy the content. Time to test that druid's armor. Oh, you would not believe how much damage we are capable of. Uh, one, two, three. Is it a line cracker? No, this is uh Cthune. Line cracker would also It would take a while, but I think we could get there. have a pretty big buffer going into the um Hakar turns potentially. It, unless they hit me with the poison seeds, I could also maybe get additional copies of Amara. The game would end in a draw when the line cracker's deck gets to 60 bloods, is that true? I don't I don't doubt it, just because that's like Hearthstone doesn't want to get in animation loops like that. Yeah, I think that there's something that prevents repeated actions like that from happening. So, I think that's a good point. And one that you are correct about. I think the game just breaks because the maximum deck limit is 16. No, I've gotten like I've shuffled when I was at the maximum deck limit. Deck limit. I think it is just the the repeated actions. I've had something similar happen when I played it, when I had the scrolls played re consecutively um, after I shuffled like 60 plus in. Have they even played a single Cthulhu piece? It doesn't look like it. There's one. <laughs> Yeah, 
this is my turn for the, uh... the oh that's a good sign that's one moonlit down I feel like the opponent is very far behind. Want to get these things off the board or start getting them off the board a little bit? Because they do have two poison seeds remaining still. One more piece. Uh oh. <laughs> I do still need to find the uh, Zyrella, which, given how many cards I've shuffled in, does make it a little bit more difficult. Oh! <laughs> uh. Bills Goodman, I give you the fifteen dollar and fifty nine cent tip. Here's something for how much I'm enjoying the YouTube content. Using ad block less than three. Hey, do what you do what you got to do. I appreciate the support, but uh, just watching the videos is plenty already. Hey, engine. What'd you call me? All right, Hikar has no place in this matchup. Spirit Lash looks pretty good though. Hey, Engine. How are you doing today? Also a pretty good draw. I just need a dead ringer now and I'm ready for the rally, but honestly just with these two, like the rally's looking okay. Grab your cutlass. Yeah. Away. Someone's got to lead the charge. Double rally. Maybe we'll, this will be that uh, pirate warrior that's running Dirty Rat again, and they'll Dirty Rat out our Hakar.
Clearly, opponent's way too skilled for that. Can Pirate Warrior run the Taunt Silence card? Maybe cry inside how bad it was? I mean, there's a time where that uh, was actually like the 30th card in the deck um, when Big Priest started running statues and the deck didn't have nearly as many competitive slots as it has now. You need a very good reason to not just run as many pirates as possible in the current iterations of the deck. Okay, well they do have to bump in the uh, cannoneer now, right? So I do have a clear with the uh, lash. Yeah. It actually looks pretty good. Ooh. I could just take the healing, make sure it dies. And then I get this, which uh, will get me to Amara. And add my wait. They're not. They don't have a car this turn. Oh my god. Oh, what a big deal. But also, why did they hear a power before they saw what pirate they got? Also, what a big deal. You know, rally was a very last second addition to this deck, and. Uh, I I'm I'm glad I included it. Wow. Wow. Oh, they were playing around Dirty Rat. That's why they didn't go for the uh Brokara last turn. That actually makes a lot of sense. Opponent using their brain, I'm not used to it. Optic Spirit Lash? I'd rather just... Oop. So oh, wait, no, that's already... Never mind. I would honestly rather just top deck the uh, Reliquary Primes, but... There's the Hacker Man. Snipe the Rokara. Grab your cutlass. Let bubbles wash. Eh? Also not a bad hit, I guess. Has a good chance of hitting a Death Lord. Hmm. I think I need to edge of the Amora a little bit more here. Good, good. 
Yes! Oh, I needed that. Okay, I'll take it. I'm probably just playing the Amara here, so I wouldn't necessarily... Or I could play the Talon and draw the Nazaa. See how much damage they... No, it's got to be the Amara. So just draw the bomb right away. Oh! <laughs> you are safe now. It's also a very good draw to go alongside it. Job done. Okay. I don't know how feasible... Oh my god, again. I don't know how feasible it's going to be to get this a car in play. I need to get the second... Um, Hysteria, I guess. We're gonna need more gunpowder. They're accumulating a lot of value here. Sure, just give the aggro deck infinite value. What could go wrong? This is not what we stood for. Tilt her own, or tilt her one. Thank you for the three months. Kill the captain. Okay. Opium. This deck is absolutely fresh. I, I cannot stand it. <laughs> it is the most miserable deck that has ever existed in Hearthstone. You can't convince me otherwise. Like, you legitimately cannot play control because of that. Like, that's, that's an example of why I should just concede every time I queue into a Pirate Warrior with this deck, because it's impossible. They have infinite value. This ends now. The light shall bring victory. Not sure what Demon Hunter's up to. Oh, okay. Just an odd demon under. Well, that was fun.
didn't really have a uh, turn two anyway, so. Right, they didn't draw for that. Hey, I got you, friend. Kind of a weak turn. Okay, I can coin a five next turn since I have an abundance of them. It's just a matter of which one. Play the potion. How many pirates would you need to burn, eat, rat in order to make the quest incompletable? That's not even a consideration. Too many to exist in reality. Or for that play to exist in reality. This is not what we stood for. Like they run what, like 26 pirates? <laughs> Quest Ankar, what else? Sometimes people run Shiver. to die for the uh, Twilight's Calls. Oh, and the cannons. Yeah, it's so two cannons, so it's 24 pirates minimum. Oh, I'm dead. I guess I should have just taken the Flash of Light and not been so greedy. But I thought it was stabilized already. Anduin versus Thrall. Yeah, another free shaman. Hopefully. Need to find Dead Ringer. Especially with the rally draw. Dead Ringer would be ideal. Oof. Well, that's good dirty rat protection. Just hit me with that turn one rat. You won't. Here it comes. You can feel it turn two. Coward. I'm just going to leave this as my only minion in hand for as long as I can. To try and live the dream. Oh, never mind. I lose this game. 
Yeah, GG. There are no rats in this deck. And they just kill me as early as next turn. Oh. Wait, what? Not what I was expecting at all. This is not what we stood for. It's Totem Shaman. Sorry, Shaman. What a bizarre game that was. Which shaman deck kills you fast? Uh, Frog Shaman, the APM deck. Okay. The dream curve. Unless it ends up being Big Drew or a big demon hunter. But nobody's playing that, right? Oh god, it might be. Weird. Maybe it's fell or light like it's probably not lifesteal, right? Still could be big. Probably don't want to draw them cards early though, so. Sure hope it's not big. You should change again to make the demon hunter hero power cost zero. No, that's okay. We don't need to make things cost zero. More things cost zero in Hearthstone. Should have learned that lesson already. I will remain on record saying that that's not a good idea. Especially with Curtis as a card now. Like, it's tier powering every turn into the Curtis seems kind of gross. Okay. My hand wasn't that great. I just wanted to trade it. Is it a blurry yog combo? I can respect that. Okay, I kind of wanted that hand with the insight corrupted, but. Right, found our Tay Tay. I 
Everyone's getting kind of low here. Whatever they're doing, they should probably do it soon. Because they can't just, like, drop the, uh... Um, the Curtis here. I mean, I guess they can. Pleasure doing business. Gotta make your move, friendo. They're just out of healing at this point, right? Root me, dude. Miss Lethal with what? I will find a way. Excellent maneuvering. Someone wants a timeout? Eh, it'll probably be a permaban if we check and they're wrong. Did I miss an option that would have given me lethal? Desperate prayer, bot steal, heal. No. Nope. Yeah, there, there is. You better explain yourself. What's the lethal, friend? Zyrella lethal? Alright, I'll give you a 20 minute. It's not a lethal. Oh, wait! No, they were right. They were right. It was a lethal. Because there was a. No, that was the first convincing infiltrator, wasn't it? Hold on. The light shall bring victory. I'll remove the timeout. Yeah, that was the first infiltrator. So I was correct to time them out. They get another timeout. Uh, I'm just not gonna play against Warrior. You have Is the first infiltrator? Yeah. Let's uh let's redo that timeout. And 
We'll do whatever 400 or 4,000 seconds is. Because they've taken up way too much time. Don't even want to see the quest before you can see it? No, because what ends up happening inevitably is they take a long time to do their mulligan. I wait like a minute and a half and then find out it's the quest anyway, and that's just not worth my time. Thank you, Glitchy. Well, well, if it isn't Varen's precious son. The light shall bring victory. Alright, maybe it'll be Hero Power Mage Smile. Hey, artist. The light shall burn. Where can I find your deck on mobile? It's uh over there, like in that corner. Blue Jay Gamer. Thank you for the prime. I was right, it is Hero Power Mage. It's not in the way that I thought, necessarily. What if it's Mizaki? Oh, they drew a minion. That's actually bad for me. I think. Although this being in the res pool is good for me. Or being on the board is good for me because if it's waker, it can kill their waker. But like the ice block is, yeah. It's just a, the spell version of ignite, unfortunate. Oh, are we dead already? You looking for a candle? Someday I'll be just like you. We all have our disguise. This is why I concede against uh mage decks. I'll be right back.
Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Gets me every time. Anduin, Mercedes, and Hilda. Arise and carry out our lady's will. The light shall bring victory. All right, this hand's too good not to play out. Never mind. Get until the rope starts burning, friend. You have bet. Smooth Lily, thank you for the five months. Like, our hand just gets so much better when we draw the Dead Ringer. So, I'm gonna keep the Dead Ringer. Rally is good with the Dead Ringer as well, because we're likely to hit a three drop off of it. Please be free, Shaman. Frog Shaman is going to be very None of these turns really tells us anything other than we don't have much in there. <laughs> Opener just yet. No explanation for that card. Maybe Yade? If they're Frog Shaman, let's blame Tulio. It's. Wait, what? What just happened? need to get the uh, rally online. Frequency, thank you for the 12 months. And Tyler Null, thank you for the eight months. Are you gonna really do this to me? That is so unlikely to happen in this deck. But, here's an answer. Yeah, that could have gone better, but I'm not going to complain too much about uh, clearing their board. Sure. 
deck is weird. It really hates Odd Hunter, I guess. I was going to say, where's my Death Lord? <laughs> oh, man. I almost freaked out there for a minute. Taunt? Wait, it doesn't give me a Death Rattle Summon off of that? Put a top deck. I'm sorry, penguin. We're using real yeah. Yep. Paladin might be fun. I will fight with honor. The light shall bring victory. I do enjoy a good dead ringer in my opener. Asteria is bound to be good against Paladin, right? Not sure what I did to deserve a well played this early, but hmm. still could be big paladin with the uh, sword. Could be Tax Paladin. Okay. I don't mind that. Get the rally ready, maybe? Hey, clicker. You're gonna try and coin a five. Yeah, it looks like big paladin. You're gonna try and coin a five here. Probably going to fail, but I don't really have a better play anyway. I've got uh, Mass Hysteria and Convincing Infiltrators if it is uh, dual. They can bring out the... Uh, oh. I wonder if they're doing the Call to Arms thing with uh, Bandar. So let's get this down. Let's chain those. You hope they're nerfing quest lines in the next patch? Yes, desperately. It is Vandar, they've probably got the call to arms ready to go.
Do I have a three yet? This is not what we stood I don't think for. I do, do I? That might be worst case scenario. Oh no. Because they've got the Stalag in hand, right? That's so many Chadiuses. Okay, I do not want to play the. Uh... Mass hysteria here, right? Reporting for duty. <gasps> yeah. Job done. Well, that's devastating for the opponent now, isn't it? They could have an Azoth still, right? For that. No conviction, please. Should be safe here. Phenomenal. Hey, welcome, Rick, sir. I feel kind of bad. We just like absolutely demolish this poor opponent's dreams. You are safe now. Welcome, Hub. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Not out of this just yet. Yeesh. Gonna need that extra... Amara, it seems. Oh, you poor soul.
I don't know if there's going to be time to get Hakkar down this game. Yeah, maybe there will be next turn. Snipe the seven. That works too. Wow. This is just disgusting. Oh, no. Wait, they diluted it, though. Oh. Okay, so it is still one Chattius, though. No better time than now. So it's Weasel, Talon, and Fugan. So there's only one Chadius in here, at least. Wait, is it going to shuffle this into my deck? Because of the weasel? Yes? Oh my god. I need that. Thank you. Need some of those infiltrators. There we go. All right. I also am going to need Zyrella at some point. But once I do hit the Zyrella, the, well, I mean the opponent's going to die before the Zyrella, right? <laughs> This is dangerous. Didn't seem like it was very good for the opponent now, did it? Or shuffling. I wonder if it keeps its old set of death rattles? No. No, it won't. Once something changes zones like that, it'll uh, lose its effects. I mean, there's still a chance they have an Azoth in here, right? But I don't think that matters because they're just going to take so much damage here. I mean, not here, but over the course of the remainder of this game. Our 
Gotta hold this in case of uh, like an actual Nazoth here. Although, do I want a Hysteria in Nazoth? That leaves a lot of stuff on board. I just need to find Zyrella, which I've made very difficult on myself. They should also just be dead when they drop a turn next turn. I think we get there. Regardless of uh, what's in their hand. They take 16 just from these. Well, that's a terrifying board. Sure glad the opponent's dead. So satisfying every time. I swear I saw that object move. Alright, I think that's going to do it for that deck today. I'm surprised it was as good as it was. Yeah, I conceded a lot to frustrating decks, but happily.